Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 14 of FTB Revelations with Darwell20, where I've just been out, you know, looking for Thorncrafty stuff. Do I want to do Thorncraft this episode, or do I want to wrap up getting, like, wireless stuff for applied energistics, or what? I basically went around the world looking for, uh, for crystals, and I haven't found any fire ones. Like, not a one. Not a one fire crystal yet. Uh, so obviously we've got, like, a decent amount of all the others, especially Ordo. Got a lot of that. Uh, but hardly any Ignis. <laughs> Look at me remembering the names of things. <laughs> uh, it's a good time. Yeah, man. It's been a while since I've done Thorncraft, so I'm kind of excited to play with it a little bit. Just a smidgen of excitement. Um, so I'm like, part of me wants to do that. The other part of me would love uh, to have like a Thorncrafty building already ready to go for when I do Thorncraft. So I'm hoping maybe we get a couple submissions. But I'm recording these episodes in advance a lot because uh, I got some stuff coming up where I'm going to be not able to record. So there's a little bit of backlog going on here, so I'm going to try and decide what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe today, if I'm not going to do Thorncraft today, the other thing I'd love to do is like wireless access to our applied energistic system so we can like, you know, remotely access our stuff and wireless crafting terminal. How hard would that be to make? Let's see. Uh, wireless ultimate terminal, wireless crafting terminal. That's probably what we want, right? So you're just going to need a Fluix Pearl and some of that stuff. That don't look so bad. I should probably get a Dench Energy Cell anyway, because that would be nice to have. Right, 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 I think so. I think that would be cool. So why don't I get that going? So if I want that, then I also need the security terminal from Applied Energistics, and then we need the wireless access point from Applied Energistics. And we might need a few wireless boosters, but that's kind of optional-ish, but not... It just makes it longer range, right? So I don't know if we need it right away. Um, and, uh, you know, Nebulous Hearts, I know all about this recipe. Every episode, for like the last five episodes, <laughs> people have been telling me about this. I know that. I'm kind of saving them in case, like, I want to make one of these other cool things from Reliquary. Which, to be fair, like, I've really never gave Reliquary a good look at, 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 like, stuff, right? So I probably should. The other thing I would love to have is, uh, a wireless receiver. Maybe that would be a nice thing to get knocked out real quick. Uh, and a matter transmitter? Matter, uh, what's it called from RF Tools? Porter? Might be called a porter. Yeah, there it is, charged porter, that's it. Yeah. Now if I want the advanced version, that's not so bad, I could pull that off, it's just a bunch of redstone. So why don't I do that real quick? Uh, so that would be you, and then the advanced one is just a bunch of redstone, which is no big rooney Simple, simple happy. And then uh, a wireless receiver, I think would probably be a really cool move. Totally love these things. It just makes it makes for a really nice setup, right? Um, I'd like I'd like you to let's see. Maybe I should maybe I should stick you right there. Um, there's a few things that like are one-off power needs, and sometimes I don't want to go crazy hooking up power. But I guess this is close enough to this one that it doesn't make too much of a difference, right? That should be cool. All right, dire home, boom. And then you, buddy. Boom. Oh, that's awesome. The matter receiver is getting low on power. Not for long, though. He's getting his juice filled up now. Whoosh. Loving it, okay. Easy peasy. That was really simple. Uh, I should get more ender pearls, though, if we're gonna be doing other stuff. But let's get, uh, let's get wireless terminal stuff going on. So I need a 16K storage component. Um, so let's 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 teach you how to make 16k. I don't know if I need you to know how to make 16k's, but I think you should know how to make 4k's, right? Because we're gonna need that soon. How are we doing on uh, stuff down here? Pretty close to having a full AE system. So maybe we should teach you how to make 4k storage cells, and in the process we'll be able to make 16k storage cells, and that would be cool, right? Um, so let's do that real quick. I should have most of what I need. Also, more patterns, please. I should have most of what I need to know how to make this, right? You should know how to make those, and then you should know how to make those, um, and then uh, you should know how to make these, and that should be it. Everything else you should already know how to make, right? So if I asked you to make a couple of these, you're probably not going to be able to because, oh no, you can, yay. I thought my uh, crafting was in progress, but I guess not. That's pretty awesome. That is super lickety split. That is, I'm, I'm 100% cool with that. Look at that, man. That is nice. Boom. 
Okay, cool. Now with that, we should be able to make three of these so that we can make a 16K so that we can get the uh, security thing going on. While that's happening, let's figure out what else I need here. So I just need for you, I just need uh, one of these guys. So get me a little extra quartz glass. You might need just a little bit of help down here. Just to speed things up a smidgen. Cool. Yeah, I would love that wireless access to stuff, and that would be great. So give me one of these and one of these. Hope I'm remembering this correctly. Hooray, I am. Okay, so that would be you're ready, right? And now you need a 16K, so that should not be too bad. The calculation processor shouldn't be too big to make. Um, I also wouldn't mind some acceleration cards. That feels like it would be a smart move to start working on, right? Maybe. But there's your 16K storage, so we can make our security terminal. Beautiful. Now, uh, I'm thinking my security terminal can just kind of live, I don't know, like right off one of these guys or something. Shouldn't matter too much. Um, if I just put him in the center here, would that be a big deal? That works, right? Because you need one of those to get the wireless terminal point thingy, right? Pretty sure that's accurate. Um, now, for you, we need a Flux Pearl. Shouldn't be too hard. Boom. Uh, and then this with a quartz fiber. Which should be pretty quick to make because it just has to pulverize three dudes. Cool. And let's get you more calculation processors. Like 10 more? Does that sound like a good number to me? Sure. Why not? Sounds like a good number. And I'll get the speed upgrade things going soon enough. How am I for diamonds? Because there was a... Eh, not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, so then there's your wireless access point. So that'll get you part of the way there. Um, where do I want to put you, buddy? I don't... I think if I'm, eh, can you go sideways or no, or upside down, or do you have to go on the top? Oh yeah, upside down works. Sweet. So your range is 16 meters. So we'll get we'll get range boosters at some point in there. But let's first. So you guys are all taken care of. Let's get this guy going. So we need a wireless terminal. That's dense energy storage cells. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right. Um, we should be able to do. Let's teach. Let's teach this one. Yeah, I think I think energy storage cells would be a smart thing to teach. Because we're gonna want. I'm probably gonna ultimately want sixteen of them. Did I not do that correctly? Because we're going to want one that's going to go into making the wireless cracking terminal and another that's actually going to stay in the network. I think that's a smart move. So get to work, kids. That might take a few minutes to craft, but that's not a big deal. In the meantime, we'll get another... Tell me you didn't lose that. Okay, cool. Nope, you're good. Cool. Another Fluix Pearl, which needs a more Fluix Dust. Oh, right, crafting CPUs. All right, let's come back when this is all done. Oh, Tick Accelerator, how I love thee. It's kind of the best, isn't it, though? Loving it. Loving it. I might throw that in the middle of, uh, of the, of the, of the multi-structure that I have there, but we'll see. We'll see. So you're just doing the last few of those. Cool. All right. And then you guys can be upgraded to dense, right? With just a couple calculation processors. One of them's gonna go towards this. 
All right, so let's see. I mean, crafting terminal. Nice, we're getting there. So we need another Emmy terminal. So that means another set of you guys. Oh, you're making more of those. Okay, fair enough. So that's the blue ones I just crafted? Okay, now I need the orange ones next. And here comes the orange ones. So that should be easy peasy, right? Oh, you're also crafting the pure Surtis Crystal. Right. I should maybe consider doing something like uh, the interface storage thing where like we keep in stock X number of whatevers and replenish it every now and then. Might not be a bad idea, but maybe like once we're a little bit more established with resources and we're, we're ramping up more. Um, but this should be my wireless crafting terminal. Uh, now, didn't I... Oh, I need another Fluix Pearl. Ooh, I need another Ender Pearl. Well, that's a problem. Is it nighttime yet? Yes. Enderman. In before I die because I don't have any kind of armor or boots that prevent me from falling. Or basically anything that would be smart to have if you're going out to hunt monsters and teleporting around in the air. Enderman. I see a cow. That would be cool to get. I should get like a a, sh a cow farm at some point. Thought I saw one in this general direction. There he is. And what I should do is take this out of my inventory because I don't actually mean to have it. What I've been doing is putting it in the in the in the backpack there. I don't think it'll auto pick the items up. Cool. More thong crowd crystals, but no red ones as usual. Any more Endermen for me before this night ends? Did that skeleton just shoot over my head? That's cool. I think the other thing I'd like to do today, if I may, is get dark armor going. Maybe that would be another good project to do. Just so I have, like, faster run speed, better jumping, all that good stuff. And we can play a little bit more with the whole upgrade system that, uh, that Ender.io has now that I've not really worked with before. And there we go. Nice. So now, you. Plus you. Plus you. And that is what's up. Cool. The other thing I probably want to do is I think I'm going to replace the security terminal here with the dense dude. And that seems like a smart move to me. Right? Because I think that just fits better there. Um, the security terminal can really sit wherever. I don't think it's super important where it sits. Maybe I'll just plop it down right here for now and we'll probably wind up moving it later. In fact, I'd be shocked if we didn't move it later. But it works, right? And now I should be able to bind you to that. And that means you're going to work. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Now, the other thing I'd like to do is controls, key tab. We're going to take toggle search focus box. I can say hold for help tool tips. No. Integrated terminals. Nope. Integrated terminals. Nope. Refined storage. Nope. Uh, and then category open wireless crafting terminal. So if I hit tab on this dude. I think that's okay, because now you can be a bauble, and just anytime I want to access my wireless dude, I hit tab, except that it's out of range at the moment because I didn't put the thing in yet. But like that's pretty cool, right? Auto consume boosters, not consuming infinity booster cards. Oh, I like that they added that. That's actually neat. That's cool. Shift click output. Okay. Shift clicking the output slot of your crafting grid will send items to your inventory or the linked ME network. That's also new, and that's also cool. That's neat. All right. Spiffy. Tall centered terminal, JEI synchronized standard keep. That's what I've been using. Uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. What's this thing? 
Magnet card. A magnet that automatically inserts items into the AE network. Oh, that's kind of neat. But no, I don't think we need that. Uh, but I wouldn't mind some... Well, Infinity Booster cards are expensive, so we're not going to make them now. Right? But what we will probably do is... Um, make these dudes. That seems, that seems reasonable, right? So Ender Powder or Ender Dust. So if I... I get one-to-one -one for Ender Pearls here... And I get one to nine for Ender Pearls here. Ooh, look at that. Sagmill Ender Dust turns into nine Ender Pearl Powder. And what's that used for, you ask? Well, that's a good question. Nine of them turn into Ender Pearls. It's one to one again. Nine of these turn into a single dust. All right, maybe maybe it's not helpful. It's basically one ender pearl per wireless booster. Well, per two wireless boosters, right? So how do we do on ender pearls? We've got three left. <laughs> Let's pulverize those things. Okay. Do we have any pures left in here? We don't really. Could I do that? Eh, we're short on sand, and we're short on a little bit of that. But what if I wanted, like, 60? That seems reasonable. Nice. Actually, are you lowering your power? What's going on here? Haha, <laughs> I figured it out. We're out of energy because I just charged up a... How much storage does this have? A lot of AE power. Yeah. If I sped you up a little bit, would that be better? Might be a little bit better. Might help to get things back up and running. What I could do is just put you away and then you should start sending all your power back into the AE system and then we should be in better shape. I'm guessing you won't grow until we have enough power in here. It's interesting. Huh. Cool. We really need to get our power in, under control a little bit better. Now we're cooking. Now here's the real question, uh, and this is actually really important. I don't exactly know the answer to this one. How much power are you draining from me? 15 RF a tick? So, like, we're actually probably hitting the point where this guy's just not going to cut it. All right, so let's do a few things here to get our power under control. Let's upgrade uh, this dude to a higher storage capacity, which would also increase his uh, energy transfer capacity, which would be super cool all around, right? So we just upgrade him like so. Nice. So now you can do 4,000, uh, and then you can do 9,000. And that has an 18 million RF capacity, way better than whatever it was before, which was way less. Um, let's do conduits. Uh, I like enhanced energy conduits. They're nice. They can do 5,000 RF a tick-ish power transfer, which seems pretty good to me. Uh, however, I wouldn't mind... Well, let's just do this. What I'm going to do is just get gold. Let's do eight of them. Does that sound good? And glowstone. This wasn't what I was planning to work on today, but it's occurring to me that I should probably get into power gen a little sooner than later here. Just because our power situation, especially with me tick accelerating everything, like that doesn't help anybody. Right? Let's be honest about that. That's not helping anyone. Yeah. So then you need this to be that. Sweet. As he continues to take accelerate. Look! I'm more impatient than I am concerned about power. Great. That works for me. And maybe just... Uh, you know what? Let me do two more gold. And two more glowstone. And two more redstone. Mm. 
only because it looks like we've got the ability to make one more set of these if we want to. Perfect. All right, cool. So now you're doing okay. See, he's in, he's filling this buffer. That's that's where my power is going right now. But look how slowly he's filling the buffer. This tells us that we are really not in a good spot with power generation, right? Like, granted, we're trying to fill up a 1.6 million RF buffer, but we are just not in a good spot. If you look at this, you realize that we are just really hurting. And and with the wireless access and all that stuff going on, and I haven't even tried to start refilling this thing, which is which got emptied from the from the stuff. So let's look at RF generation and see what our options are in this pack. All right, so flipping through generator lists, there's oil and coal generators from Actually Editions. So we could do like the Actually Editions style oil generation thing. That's fun to set up, and it's been a while since we've done that one, right? Did I, I did do it in Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, didn't I? Yeah, I did it in DDSS, and we did it pretty well, actually. We had a really compact and nice oil generator. Uh, so that was cool. So we actually did it somewhat recently. It's it, Yeah, we knocked that out in an episode or two. Um, other options for generators, there's Ender IO stuff. There's all the uh, Extra Utilities 2 ones, right? Magmatic and Heated Redstone and, and Ender and all that good stuff. A lot of these are not super useful some of them are more useful than others like disenchantment generator unless you're getting a lot of enchanted items from a mob farm it's you know meh uh the purpose of those are usually to get to the rainbow generator where you get some ridiculous power gen um more advanced power gen would be uh big reactors or extreme reactors or uh or nuclear craft but i don't think we're gonna get there just yet i think that's more middle to end game style power gen i'm looking for something earlier game all right, so I think I've decided what I'm going to do. Um, when we did canola seeds in Dungeons & Dragons and Space Shuttles, we didn't super automate it. We kind of fudged it a little bit and automated it a smidgen. Uh, I'd like to full-blown automate all tiers of canola oil, right? Like all the way up to Empowered. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do to get things rolling, right? Um, here's my plan. I want to, in my sub-basement, create a section inside one of the walls that's going to be like displayed by a glass that will have the whole process from canola to to liquid like canola to presser to to refined canola all the way up um you know to 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 empowered canola and, and crystallized canola and all that good stuff right and it'll all be visible back here and i think that would be cool to see in like a nice like looking glass kind of thing where I can walk up and like see it all happening. Um, and I'd also like to do it all with something I've not done before. I don't think I've ever done it with integrated dynamics. Like that would be cool, right? Um, if we had like world readers and all that stuff. I might have done it once before like that, but it's been a long time since I've done it like that. So I think it would be fun to do, right? So we could use integrated dynamics with a couple things. I think integrated dynamics can do all the things, right? Like there's world interactors in here, right? World reader. Crafting writer, um, yeah, these guys, yeah, world energy importer are these guys, uh, not the energy ones, but the item and fluid ones. So world item importers, world fluid importers, we can use this to do all the automation, and I think that would be awesome. So step one, canola farm. All right, so one thing I want to make is maybe a dark axe, uh, and I can empower that, right? Uh, remind me, I have to like empower it. Uh, 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 I remember this one. I remember this one. Some kind of crystal. Some kind of crystal we put on it so we can start empowering it, right? Let's see, if I get you over here. Yeah, the tricky part is that the things are not in there, right? So isn't there, like, something I have to do? Or is it just a dark steel upgrade empowered? Maybe it's just the dark steel upgrade empowered? If I empower it, I think it can chop down an entire tree. Dark steel upgrade empowered. So vibrant crystal. Right. Okay. So gold and glowstone and redstone and an ender pearl. And an ender pearl. Right. Ender pearl. Is it almost nighttime? And an ender pearl. <laughs> So you do the thing, you do that thing, we get that, and then we do this, and then we get one of these, 
And then it was one of these blank dark steel upgrades. So that is dark iron bars, clay, and four string. All right, dark iron bars, clay, and some string. It's not too bad. We'll go with one for now, and hopefully that's sufficient. All right, so u plus u equals that. Can I empower you now? All I need is empowered one, so you can do a full tree chop, and that would be awesome. Maybe I do this, yeah. I do this, and then that. All right, we have to activate it first, right? Right click, four levels needed to activate. Hooray, that's neat. I kinda, I do like it. I just need JEI so I can remember how things work. All right, now you are probably charging up, which is good. And I should probably do this to help you charge faster. But I'm putting this away because I'm still having power problems. Right? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but you should chop down an entire tree. <gasps> oh, I love it. Oh, it's a really good one, too. It's like chop down all the things. Why you not want to... Oh, are you getting recharged? Is that why? Oh, I can see that being a little bit of a problem. Eh, it's not the end of the world. Super cool, though. All right, I like that. That's a that's a really nice tree chopper. Interesting. It looks like it goes above whatever Y level you're breaking at the moment. That's cool, actually. I like that a lot. Only thing we got to watch out for is the uh, the recharging. If it's a little bit slow on the recharge, it it seems to be a little bit a little bit like. Like, the, like, I know exactly what's happening, right? Minecraft's like, hey, that's a different item than you were using to break the block a minute ago because the item is a different item because it has a different NBT value on it, right? And that's the charge of the RF thing. So, yeah, not not a huge deal, obviously. Um, but, but, yeah, it's neat. I like it. It's a very, very nice, very nice, really, really quite good all around thing. Super good tree chopper. Now what I'd also like to do is a building gadget. And I'd like you to have a dirt block that you could mimic. Oh, it's getting to be dark. All right, so let's do some, some terrain flattening stuff. Uh, let's do horizontal. How's that feel? And how about a little bit of build for me? To just flatten out the remaining. Do we like that? I like that. Do I want a little bit more here? Maybe. Alright, that should be a pretty sufficient canola farm. Let's take a nap and then get water and a hoe. And that should probably be about it. You have a bucket for me? You do. Putting this stuff away. You, sir. And a hoe. Eh, we could do iron. Or not. Okay. So if we wanted you to be like a nice, pretty standard, let's, let's go with here. That seem cool. Boy, I love traveling around like that. Does that all sound good? Okay, perfect. Step two is I'm going to want you guys to go away. Plant sowers, right? So let's get two machine frames. Right? One's going to go towards this. You. 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 And check. Nice. Plant sower. And then plant gatherer will be one of you. 
Um, and we could have used the Ender IO one, to be fair, but that one you need to keep feeding it um, tools, which you could have made like, you know, an infinite use durability thing, but meh, it's all good. Uh, and then we're probably going to want range upgrades, right? So we probably want a range upgrade of four, and that'll cover a nine by nine area. Range add-on for four is ten. Ten. And we're going to want two of those. So if we pop this dude out here, you're the plant sower, right? So you sow plants. And if we show working area, and then we throw our range upgrade in there, you should be perfectly doing that. Beautiful. And uh, then we can do crop hoeing enabled. Yep. Hide working area can go off. Always active is good. Plop my canola seeds, which I might have accidentally put away. Yep. I'm smart. For now, this whole farm will just be canola seeds. In the future, we might expand it to have other types of seeds, right? Um, but if I lock inventory, right? So I'm just going to do this for now and then lock so that you're always canola seeds. I like that plan, right? And we should have uh, some energy underground here, right? Cool. Perfect. So we'll do the enhanced energy conduit thing. Wrong thing. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you should really be here when I'm doing this. I have like muscle memory for where I where I usually connect and do things, right? Okay, so now you're planting your seeds. Perfect. Lots of stored energy there. Um, and I'm suspecting what I want is. How do we want to do this, right? Like you're going to want to go here and when we show working area on you and do this, that looks pretty reasonable, right? Um, and then what we'll want is to make it such that you also get power and then we're going to want our item conduits going on too. And I really want to get this up and running before the end of the episode if we can. So that next episode we can have it run for a little bit and uh, be cool. You know what else I'm gonna want? is a couple drawers. Do I have access to it from here? Oh, good, good, I do. Uh, so can I get a couple of you? I can get one. Come on, give me the right drawer to tab on. That's birch, oak, thank you. Okay, because all we're gonna get from this is canola seeds and canola beans. Not what I want to do, but that's okay. Okay, so you are going to do this. You're going to come out of here. And you're going to go in here. So your job will be to extract, always active, right? But we're not activating it yet. Your insertion will be pre-priority 10, but not extract. Your insertion will be priority 10 but not extract. And I don't know which which priority is high. This one might be the higher priority. I don't know, let's find out. If we make you 10, and we make you guys nine, who goes first? We'll find out. I always forget, because different mods use different priorities, right? Okay, now you can do that, and in a moment, you should be cool. And what we want to see is canola goes in here, and the seeds go in the other spot, right? So if we, in fact, because I want to make sure the seeds and canola are ready here. Okay, so now we should extract always active and this number should go up but this one shouldn't you should have gotten the seeds perfect that's what we want right perfect and then you should start planting anew good 
And then over time, what will happen is this will start backstuffing on seeds. Uh, and this will start filling up on seeds after the backstuffing is complete. And if I really wanted to, to help out with that, I could do something like this and pop you in there. And now you're filling her up. How cool is that? Not too shabby. Now, reminder, in this version of, in, in, in this version, right, previous versions of the mod that, um, industrial foregoing is based on had an issue where things would slow down if this sludge back stuffed in this version that is not the case so in this version of the mod you don't have to worry about clearing out the sludge okay i think that's a wrapping up point so dial 20 sign it off we've got a canola farm we'll come back next episode and start automating canola for power all right guys take it easy